Alice Balandi, here we are again. You are now setting yourself up as really the number one in this category, which is still quite new. How does it feel to, to stamp such a, uh, a mark on 78 kilograms? Uh, it's uh, already like a dream. Every competition is like a dream. Uh, I'm just up on the mat and I'm thinking about doing my best, my best judo, uh, have fun. And uh, I, I have to be honest, uh, the results is uh, secondary. I, I want to, to feel good, I want to feel the mat, I want to feel my judo. Then uh, results come. But uh, my, if you see, I, I always touch my head because uh, it's the, f the most important thing. My head stay, stay good on the mat, feel good on the mat. The crowd here, what was it like to fight? They are, they're pretty crazy, yeah? I, I told you in, also in Jerusalem, <sighs> Israel is, uh, is crazy for judo. I love to fight in Israel. It's, uh, they are such a good uh, fan, crowd, population. They are so good, so kind, so kind with me. Is there any differences, the Masters and here, for you in your performance and the crowd? Any, any noticeable differences between the two? Uh, for sure, when you want a Master, you feel a bit of pressure. And uh, for this, uh, for me, it was uh, really important to enjoy. Enjoy and not feel that, that pressure that uh, could uh, kill me, because uh, it was me versus me. So. It was my, the, the most important thing to me. What was it like to step out against Malonga? Because she's a you know, former world champion. She's one of the real strong people in 78. What, what was that like? She is. Uh, I fought against this a, a lot of time uh, in one year, like five times. Uh, but it's always a tough fight, really hard. And you have to stay always, uh, uh, you have to be clever. Clever and, uh, and and to stay on the on the fight, uh, you you can't you can't uh, you can't miss a particular. Uh, it's a strong fight. She she's a champion, no? <laughs> the um, the Italian coaching team were nominated in the Judo Awards yes. uh, for your performances, for Palati's performances, yes. and we saw you obviously having a great celebration with your coach after you came off yes. the mat. What's it like for you to, to see them be successful as well as yourself and to be part of the success of Italy's team? Uh, it's good. We have a good team uh, and uh, uh, also Susie Scutto was nominated uh, as, uh, and she won. She won. She's a good athlete. We have, uh, as I told you, a good team. Uh, so they deserve, they deserve uh, this. And finally, what's next? How are you going to celebrate and where will we see you compete next? I don't know, maybe Tbilisi. Hmm. I hope uh, I hope Tbilisi or uh, I don't know maybe Antalya Tbilisi I don't know. <laughs> Between now and then, are you going to have any chance to celebrate to celebrate four gold medals in a row? <laughs> no, I just uh, go home, uh, see my parents, and uh, this is my way to celebrate. Uh, this is my way to to feel me better, to feel me good. Uh, a little bit of rest, uh, maybe um, four days, and then uh, we restart. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.